In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for krypton tetrabromide. Let's count the valence electrons up. Krypton is a noble gas. It's in group 18, sometimes called 8A. It has eight valence electrons, seven for the bromine, but we have four bromines. So we have a total of 36 valence electrons for KRBr4. We'll put the least electronegative at the center. That's the krypton. And then we'll put bromines around it. We have 36 total valence electrons. We'll put pairs between atoms to form the chemical bonds. We've used eight, and then we'll go around and complete the octets on the bromines. So this looks like a pretty reasonable Lewis structure. We have octets for all the atoms here, but we do have a problem. We've only used 32 valence electrons, and we have a total of 36. So we have four additional electrons we've got to put somewhere. Turns out that krypton can have an expanded octet so we can put those on the central krypton atom. Put a pair here, and let's stick another pair down here. So the bromines still bonded to the krypton, so they have eight valence electrons each. The krypton, that has, has 12 valence electrons, but that's okay. And this is the Lewis structure for KrBr4. You could also write this replacing these electrons here with lines, and that might make it look a little cleaner. Note also, if you're concerned that these electrons are in the right place, you could calculate the formal charges, and you'd see the formal charge for each atom here in KRBr4 is zero. So this is the most favorable Lewis structure. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.